Hey friends, this is Chuck Bass for cardrunners.com and you're about to watch the third part of my comeback series. In the first two parts we saw myself playing somewhat sloppy and not winning a tournament that I probably should have won from the position I was in at a certain stage in the tournament. And here we are finally at the possibly more interesting part of the series where I actually do end up winning a toughest tournament. Sorry for the spoiler I guess but that's not the point anyway about who wins or who doesn't when you're watching a training video. So hopefully I can educate you a little bit with this. So uh, this is the Poker Stars 265 KO tournament which is a pretty interesting tournament in general. There's a lot of different opponents in it and for some reason, all the Russians just love playing it. Like, almost half the field is always Russian. And they, a lot of them seem to play quite spassy, as we will also see, see in this video. Anyway, I'm just going to fire it off straight away. I'm going to show you every single hand. I'm sure I still end up making a couple of mistakes here and there. But I will be aiming to go through them quite fast. There's over 400 hands total. So I'm not going to get stuck unless it's a really interesting hand. Just real quickly, you can see my HUD setup here. Um, I wouldn't worry about the other numbers too much. If there's something that has been useful for me at the time when I play the hand, I will definitely point it out. But just as in general stats, I if you look at, uh, sorry about that, if you look at Jason's stats in here, uh, 24 VPIP, 18 PFR, 11 3 bet. Uh, the blue number is fold big blind to steal. I changed my heart a little bit lately, and uh, I have, I've found out that the, uh, the BB stats in general are pretty nice, especially when you have a lot of tables. So the 58 and 45 here in the second row, that's uh, fold big blind to steal, call big blind, and uh, three bet from the big blind against steel. So this gives you a pretty good image quite fast about how someone plays. I don't really have a huge sample on anyone at this table, but like for example, this guy, he hardly flats anything from the big blind. It seems he almost always either, either folds or three bets. So when he does flat, he's gonna have some, some pretty face up range, I think. It's probably going to be a lot of like high suited connector types of things. And that also makes his big, uh, big blind three betting range versus steel is pretty, pretty bluff heavy. I think if he's three betting 45%, I don't think that's a realistic number though. I think it's just a skewed sample or whatever, but anyway, it'll be easier to play against him. And then for example, this guy, he doesn't seem to fall big blind to steals almost at all. He has never a three bet from there, so he just flats. He defends the big blind a lot by flatting, which I think is a good strategy in general. Also, although this guy seems a little bit um, kind of loose, weakish based on the stats. Anyway, enough about that. First hand, king check off. If this came around folded, I think I would still open fold here. This deep without antis and especially now when the guy opens it's a pretty clear fold 6-8 i'm gonna open fold this i might defend against someone probably not though i guess if the button opens i might flat it's kind of like whatever not a huge hugely interesting hand 